Earth, the not-so-distant future. Solar flares and overcrowding have destroyed the world's food supply. From her secret lab at Ingest Corp, bioengineering billionaire Erica Soares creates an incredible breed of eight-legged creatures with all the meat and muscle humanity needs to survive. But will we survive the spider soul? guest. I, uh, uh, I'm not so sure that the, uh, uh, specimens are willing to work around our schedule. Ah, pistols. No need to worry, me boy. Ah, why, I believe that's him now. Uh, somebody order a large olive lovers, an extra large alchovies, two specials on the diplato crust, and, uh... Perfect. Right on time. We can begin. <laughs> Pizza boy? Weren't you supposed to be a cop or something? <laughs> I am a police officer. In training. Thank you very much. But I've got bills to pay. If we could all take our seats. Thank you all for coming under such mysterious circumstances. <laughs> yes, well, as you know, Ingest Corporation is the world leader in next generation food distribution and development. It seems some of our more experimental flavor varieties found a flaw in our security protocols. We have them, um, temporarily contained, <laughs> right? <laughs> We've talked about this. Uh, yes, yeah, some of our delicious specimens have <coughs> escaped, and are making it difficult for our staff to do their valuable work. But that's where all of you come in. It seems the early tests you participated in may have had, uh, unintended, well, benefits, you might say. Dr. Soros here can speak to that in greater detail. Thank you. <laughs> I'm sure some of you remember some odd side effects you encountered in our early tests. This is quite simply because our earliest samples altered the DNA of the host. <clears throat> the consumer. <laughs> Imperceptibly, I imagine. If it had affected your lives much, we would have heard about it. I believe what our chief researcher is trying to say is that locked deep within your genetics may be the exact gift that will allow us to resolve our current predicament. But not all of you, alas. So you might ask, how do I know if it's me, if I'm the one chosen by nature to bail out interest? Over the course of the next few days, you will undergo a variety of tests, both physical and molecular, to determine... Uh... Uh, congratulations! You've been selected from an exclusive list of applicants to serve as our elite, uh... Combat interns! Hold up. Internship? Paid internship? We certainly allocated compensation for your time, and seeing as the group is much smaller now, 
payment shouldn't be an issue. Sick. <laughs> They've already breached the inner wall! On it. One phone call and I can have the entire police force here in 30 minutes or less. We were hoping to handle this matter internally, if possible. That does make sense, in a way. <clears throat> As I was saying, perhaps you brought along some form of makeshift weaponry. <laughs> I haven't met a monster my guitar can't shred to tears. Hey, Chief, you still messing around with that potato gun? The Sportcaster? It's in my van. Wonderful! Uh, glad that settled. Go collect your equipment and report back. You start immediately. Meter's running! Hey! Where do you think you're going? I'm taking charge of this mission. Eh, he was holding me back anyway. For the time being, get a feeling for moving through the facility. You can run and crouch, jump, and fire your weapon. If you hold down the aim button, you'll stand still. But you'll be able to aim in any direction as long as the button is held. Heads up! We're sending in a little backup. We have a stockpile of weapon pods we can send in during your mission. Shoot a pod to drop its payload. You can actually hold two weapons, one active and one in reserve. Swap between them. Two weapons! It's cutting edge tech. If you pick up a weapon you're already holding, it will actually upgrade to a more powerful form. Uh, but be careful! If you get hit, an upgraded weapon will revert. And if you, um, die, then you'll lose your active weapon. So. Taste. Congratulations, you've evolved. The genetic information stored in that meat should interact with your internal structure and unlock a new ability. Success! Yes! You can now climb on most walls and ceilings! Unless, of course, the surface is covered in slippery slime. Still haven't perfected the recipe. Ah, uh, welcome back, interns. What the heck was that? You left us hanging when we needed you most. There was a... Ah, uh, um... Uh... Queen Spidersaur, our largest specimen. Big enough to feed an entire neighborhood, a school, a corporate party. Yes, the Queen Spidersaur is large, dangerous, and still on the loose thanks to our heroic interns. But we have much bigger problems at the moment. Indeed, the breach is wider reaching than we suspected. Specimens are quickly spreading throughout the complex. The initial breach seems to be in our laboratories. Specimens are being released from containment. Along the way, destroy any evidence... <laughs> ...escaping creatures that you encounter. Speaking of which, if you come across any of our meat products... Chow down! You want to keep your strength up. <laughs> She's exactly right. Let's commence the, uh, operation. Push your way down the corridor to the elevators, then upward to the laboratories. We'll send in support as usual. Good luck! Yeah, yeah.
meters running.
Excellent work! You may be aware, behind this facility, we've constructed an enormous jungle enclosure. It allows us to raise and monitor our free-range specimens. When they aren't potentially escaping, that is. <laughs> hmm. Um, we've detected something very large on our satellite imaging. Too large, frankly. Hmm. None of our experiments could grow to that size. So whatever it is, it could break through our security fencing. If it breaks through the wall, thousands of experiments will rampage through the city. Well, that's gonna impact my ticket sales. Then you understand how serious this is. Stop that thing before it can break through our defenses. Be sure to taste it too. For science.
giant puppet? <laughs> Excellent! They've returned again with valuable data. Yeah, BT Dubs, your giant miracle of science was a Trojan arachnosaur. <laughs> that shouldn't be possible! Yeah, well... No matter. One of the things I'm most proud of about our facilities here is our clean energy footprint. 100% clean, pure energy. Scrubbed and spit-shined the way Mother Earth intended. Is that right? It doesn't sound right. Hush. How do we do it? Why, with Earth's own nectar, molten lava. Um, can we circle back to that thing about the footprints? I assure you, it's all perfectly safe. As long as it's kept in ideal balance, that is. Naturally, with all those specimens crisscrossing the compound, some have found their way into the lava flow circuit. Ah, this will be a straightforward extermination mission. Not much nuance required. Just clean out the volcano. We have an interest in getting this done ASAP. Some rumors about the incident are already leaking onto the shadow net. <laughs> yes, obviously our competitors would love the chance to discredit us in the marketplace of hors d'oeuvres.
get the... Oh, junk! It's triggering an eruption! Take cover! Here we go! I have some good news and some bad news. We have confirmed the spy drone you destroyed was sent by our competitor, Gigant Organics. That's where the bad news comes in, I'm afraid. The storm cooled our entire volcano plant. It's going to be weeks before we're up and running again, meaning our facility is now at half power. What are our options? We reached a sewer beneath the facility. Odd. The facility blueprints don't show any sewers at all in that sector. Those are part of the original facility, before you came on board the project. They lead to our distribution center, in town! On it! I'm ready to rock!
Stop right there. Say something. <laughs> like what? Ha! I knew it! Wait, how? You foolish humans are running out of time! I've been watching from the shadows, learning your strengths, learning to exploit your weak knees. <laughs> or what? I can double jump, dude. My knees are fine. Weak knees. Oh, weaknesses. That's different. Yes. Sorry, your language is somewhat tricky at times. But your attacks and abilities are basic. So basic, I have mastered and improved upon them. And they will be your undoing.
We're here. We reach the facility you mentioned. So we take a quick look around, and then what? Yeah, about that. Uh... We scan the facility, and it's as we feared. The Queen Spider-Sore is there, too. This is it, team. We have the escaped specimens right where we want them. Unfortunately, that's inside a massive hive they've constructed directly beneath the city. Sure, okay, but this is good news, right? It is, provided we succeed. Easy mode. Huh, I suppose so. Best of luck, it turns. since the very beginning, before even the rich man. I watched from the shadows, learning their methods, learning their secrets. Uh-huh. Now, fine, fine, I'll skip to the end, whatever. When one of the science cooks turned away, I was able to sneak a bite of their strange dino meat. Such flavor. Deep, robust, and so grown up. And so I grew up, and more up, until I stood as a man. But I am no mere man. I am a roach, and roaches cannot be defeated!
remember, you're in the queen's nesting ground. She'll do anything to protect her offspring. Be careful. Again. <laughs> you still have no idea. You can evolve your bodies, but your minds remain tiny, shriveled things. Once I smoosh you beneath my feet, perhaps I will share what I have learned. Uh, from the shadows. Huh? Just couldn't follow the plan, could you? Huh? Fools. Nothing that happens at Ingest is an accident. I toiled for years to find it. The genetic code for the ultimate life form. Once I did, I split up the chromosomes, hiding a tiny genetic seed inside each spider sore. Ingest's product line is nothing more than a delicious puzzle, waiting for one evolutionary solution. It was only a matter of time before we found test subjects whose genes were triggered by my special recipe. Good luck with that. I'm talking about you. And you performed admirably, locating every flavor of creature and sampling them along the way. Gorging yourself on the instrument of humanity's subjugation. Falling in line, just as I'd planned. And then, 
the final step. The Queen Spider Soar would devour you, evolving into the ultimate life form under my control! I hate that plan. Clearly. Fortunately, <laughs> I'm willing to improvise. Time for the main course! Careful now! Person. I looked into our genetic recipes. Erica was telling the truth. Each one has a hidden chromosome. She labeled them as garnish. Uh, should we issue a full recall? I don't think so. Let's correct the error going forward, but allow existing stock to sell out. In a few short years, Erica's plan will be a distant memory. But... No worries. I'm beating a box a day. It's gotta make a dent, right? No. Don't you start talking like them. Uh, Victoria, we've spoken offline about a performance-based bonus program. I called it a raise, but okay. I think I can safely remove Erica from payroll, which should free up some capital. Cha-ching! 
That's right. If Dr. Suarez is no longer Inja's senior officer, that means I'm the highest-ranking employee! We can finally explore my dream!